Ah, oh, oh, hi there. I see you've met Pinto. Here on the Nature Nick Network, we have all kinds of different critters to talk to you guys about. But for our very first kind of test run video, I thought we would start with probably my favorite. Come here. Oh, don't be so camera shy. Pinto is an African pygmy hedgehog. They are nocturnal, meaning they only come out at night. The reason for that is they do not have the best eyesight, very poor eyesight actually. What they have in spades, however, is a sense of smell with that wonderfully adorable nose and an amazing ability to hear. They can actually hear grubs in the dirt almost an inch underneath them crawling along. Not bad, huh? What else is really, really cool about them are these little things you might notice. Oh, are these little things you might notice all along her back. Those are not quills. Quills you will find on porcupines. These are spikes. Spikes are actually hardened hair. So these little spikes on their back is hair follicles that have hardened because of keratin. Keratin is the same stuff that our hair and our fingernails are made of. These are naturally going to be soft when they're born, but they actually harden into quills in the first couple days after they're born. What you can actually classify these little guys as, they are carnivorous, but you can actually classify them as insectivores, meaning they primarily eat bugs. I have a habit of running off screen. They will feast on everything from worms to mealworms that I have spread throughout the table in hopes that she can enjoy a snack while we're learning about her. And that fantastic nose, oh, yum, 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 yum. That fantastic nose can smell all kinds of different bugs, slugs, and any other creepy crawlies in between throughout the night over in Europe, Asia, and Africa. Believe it or not, there are 17 different species of hedgehogs. And most commonly, in the pet trade, you will have African pygmy hedgehogs and you will have four-toed hedgehogs. The Englishmen really love these guys, and actually in the medieval times, they used to be called urchins. And yes, they were discovered before sea urchins. And urchins from these guys are what inspired the names for sea urchins. Come here. So how many quills can they actually have on their backs? They can have up to five to seven thousand quills. Yeah, that's a lot. And how do they protect themselves? Well, say I'm a big scary predator. And I come along the forest floor and I come and scoop up this hedgehog. She will <gasps> curl right into a ball. No, ball. You're supposed to go ball. We have talked about this. We have to really slow it down. You're too friendly. You're too trusting of your father, so you won't go up into a ball. So being mostly nocturnal, they don't really have a lot of natural predators because of their protective spikes. <laughs> they have a lifespan of around 10 years. And they are mostly solitary. Hedgehogs will only come together when it comes time to breed. When they do breed, the males will stick around for around three weeks. And then, two months later, about four of these little guys will be born. It's important that dad's not around, because unfortunately sometimes, or a lot of the times, male hedgehogs will eat the offspring. Because that means mom will go back into her cycling, which means dad can breed again. Men. So... Oh, hop, 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 hop. So that little <sighs> you're hearing is actually her. When they do that, they actually cause a reflex in their spikes to protectively poke or jab. And it's how they fend off predators when predators come up and maybe stick their noses a little too close. Wait. Hedgehogs, of course, besides their very, very adorable appearance, were also made popular by the Sega mascot. Well, not mascot, but very popular Sega character, Sonic the Hedgehog. No, they cannot roll into a ball or run as fast as Sonic can, but they are very speedy little guys, and they can roll into a ball for protective purposes, because on top are spikes, but underneath is a very soft belly, as you can see here. What? Uh -huh. yeah. 
What's fun is normally with them. I always think of talking to them in a British accent, because that is what they are most commonly enjoyed are people in England. They're very much welcomed in gardens because they help fend off a lot of problematic pests for plants. And how could you not, with a face like this, 